been using recently. And it's pretty good. Comes in useful more than you think. I'm gonna I'm gonna get him out of his consignee duds because I think people think I'm taking Mick. I've I've only got it because um, I helped out with the playtesting and they said like, hey look, you know, here you go. You can have this as a thank you. So that's why I've got the outfit. It's not actually on general release yet. Yeah, princess would be great. Oh man, I think I think we've got to do it. We've got something with which to set things alight. I think I've got to remember that nail gun also can just root enemies to the ground. Uh. Is this how we want to do things? I think so. Cool skin, yeah, it, it it really is, and I've got I've got the Michonne one as well. They look they look great. They look really convincing. Um, I'm not going to start using them regularly until until everybody can use them regularly, though. That's that's that seems fair. Ugh. That's right, kids. Speedy walkers. Now, that Commonwealth shouldn't be too much of a problem. <laughs> he says, just blasting him away instantly. I was going to say, because of the enhanced damage that you get from Better Together, uh, I don't think we're quite at the point where we need that even at the moment. Shane. Do what you do, buddy. Setting them alight and uh, and blowing them up at the same time. We are just a nightmare for the walkers. This team is is pretty killer. Should be able to be charged every single turn. It's kind of a big deal, especially when we've got things like metalheads that are, in theory, resilient to ranged attacks. I always bunker down in that left bottom corner. Yeah, I mean, last last week we we had some really good last dance uh, uh, sessions. It was staycation, I believe, and and yeah, the suggestion was as well. Hey, look, bottom left, you've got the best visibility. Somebody suggested that. Um, gave it a go, and it worked pretty amazingly. Got a really good score for the last uh, last stand. Now, what I do like to do, though, on the slightly earlier missions, at least, I like to uh, get amongst it. I like to be ready at the, the same side of the map where they're going to spawn. It's just something that I like to do. But, yeah, camping down on the bottom left, I think that's... The winning strategy here. Shane, blow him up, blow up his buddies. Oh, there we go. There's Grimmy. I don't think that's the official name for the little icon that pops over the walkers' heads when you can use Rick's heirloom. Uh, but that's that's why I call him. I call him Grimmy. Looks like the Grim Reaper. Sure as hell, act like it as well. Boom! The sound from the Abbey trombone is divine. Nice, tasty charge attack there. Uh, yeah, of course we can use. Oh, should have given myself. Uh, some other way to attack the walkers twice so that the heirloom can kick in more frequently but uh, best sounding weapon yeah I mean it just sounds like it means business doesn't it oops can't shoot through a metal head unless we knock him on his butt
I think it's up there with the bayonet musket as well. I like the, um, in terms of presentations of weapons, those are my two favourites. Bayonet musket, that little wisp of smoke once it's fired. Absolutely beautiful. The Abbey. It's just that, just that noise. Sound of thunder bringing down walkers. No speedies. Feel like we're just chasing walkers around right now. Uh, always shield. What is behind them? Yeah, yeah. That's been their. That's been their mo. That's been their thing since day one. Um, I don't. I don't think they've actually changed. I know, for example, that the walkers did. Do you remember when they could move uh, four squares and they had retaliate? Kind of insane. They got uh, they got nerfed because yeah, because of course they did. Uh, they were insanely powerful. What the um, the metalheads being able to prevent you shooting through them. It's handy to keep it in mind. I think. I think we're now getting to that point where we're thinking about where we're going to hunker down. Uh, bottom left corner is definitely the best shout. Yeah, I mean, this is not how I like to be set up. Yeah, when we've got reinforcements coming in. Um, hmm... We just messed up, just messed up there. Flare a day keeps the walkers away. Don't call them walkers, I call them there. I like that, that was a really nice note, uh, 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 detail in The Ones Who Live. Hey, Michonne, they can't know that we know each other, so don't go calling the zombies walkers. Cause that's what I call them, and I was like, "Oh yeah, that's that's kind of good thinking, really." <laughs> I wouldn't have thought of that. Can we get rid of you, sir? You make you stand still. Oh, come on, Elum. Ugh. I don't like the fact that the heirloom is luck based. I think it should just be if if you fulfill the requirements, that's it. It's 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 an insta kill. Score multiplier is up at ten. That is defo what we like to see. You sir. The princess instead of Shane work better. Uh yes. But Princess doesn't have exploding bullets. So literally I, I always whenever Shane is available, I always use him in at least one last stand run. It's sort of just a tradition thing, and I think it just makes for a really good video. So that's that's simply it. I would probably pick a favorite team and just always use that if uh, you know if I wasn't making videos I try and I try and mix and match the teams just to add some variety that's you know that's it yeah if somebody was saying hey look what's the best team to use for this last stand it probably doesn't include Shane especially not if he does stuff like that which completely lanes out But if you're doing a video, it's probably a good idea to have them in the mix. Oof. 
And that's why just those exploding bullets there they're always interesting to see in action okay, i'm very glad that we've got you on fire let's make sure that we're all cuddled up nice and cozy get that damage bonus insta kill oh my gosh Ooh. Now, I want to do that whole hide in the bottom left corner. Come on. There we go. Heirloom kicked in. Oh, yeah. I can see... I can see the heirloom there potentially kicking in, but we don't need to use that. This is the safer option. Somebody could potentially get Connie if we don't cripple them. Nope, can't do that. Let's stay here because then we get charged. And I don't like to be sort of in the middle of the map precisely because of this kind of thing. Okay, these guys we can deal with. You can be made to hold tight or just die. Kaboom. Yeah, I mean, come on. That's that's why we bring Shane along. Like I said. They are done in levels. Yeah, I think it gets up to level 15. For an heirloom. They are more effective the higher the level, obviously. Um... Yeah, for Wix. Yeah, I mean, I that's it's just a personal opinion. I I think it would be perfectly fair to make it so that it's not luck based for it to kick in and insta kill stuff if you meet all of the requirements. But uh, hey ho, that's that's how it works. Uh, yeah, let's do this done what we can yes you can go there that's perfectly safe uh, do that and then do that Some exploding collateral damage right there yeah I mean they we've got at least I mean at least one kill using the heirloom Be nice to see a bit more action out of it, but you certainly be on fire. Go here, and then we're all cuddled up, and to get charge points and the damage. Did not know that you were there, cheeky normal walker. As long as he's mobilized, that's fine. Yes, I know. Grimmy is is there, ready to flip in, take a life. But. One, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah, we're safe if we go there. Can't end our turn there, but we can end it there. Not perfectly cuddled up to get charge points and damage, but we get them anyway. Metal heads, of course, can be stunned. Exploding bullets there. Not causing a ton of hurt, but, you know. Okay. I mean, if we had Yumiko, we'd really be... We'd have a much better chance of getting some action out of that heirloom 
You see it's not really kicking in the way that you would like it to. Another wonderful ability with the Abbey Trombone is that it can ensnare targets. That comes in handy sometimes. Now this is a little bit scary. Because we've got some speedy walkers and I can't really see them so... Right, we've got to do this because he's got to be crippled. Oof. Lucky. Oh, yes. Shane's cleaning house. Have to go keep up the good work. Appreciate what you do. Thank you very much. It's obviously I'll put this on um, put this on YouTube, put the videos on as well. But thank you very much for watching. Great having a chat to you. And you know, obviously there'll be, be loads more videos as well. So thank you very much for uh, for watching. And see you again soon. Can't wait for the weekly challenge. Okay, I think we do this and then we can blow you up. Good. You're gonna have to be taking out the picture. We're gonna have to move here. Just because that metal head, oops. Bloody sneaky speedy walkers. <laughs> cool, see you then. Let's get those guys cooking. The old Abby has the ability to do that as well, to get bad guys on fire. Really is a hell of a weapon. Now, can we blow you up? Yes, we can. I'm wondering if somebody is here. Yes, they are. Can he have it? Okay, yeah, we can't shoot through that metal head. Oh, son of a... Damn it, it was a tank. I couldn't stun it. Should have figured that that could be a tank, and he was he was just going to shrug off that attack. Oh. Well, we've got the heirloom to kick in, at least. We got much less chance of getting full charge points at the end of each turn now because we have fewer characters and of course we just can't go around blowing up walker heads. Boo. Oh, go, go, heirloom. Did you see that? Okay, we're not in the bottom left corner, we're in the bottom right. That ain't the same thing, but this is where we shall have to be. Connie, do you fancy stunning some people? You do. Rick, do you fancy having your heirloom kick in? You don't. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, we have no charge points. Oh my gosh. Connie, of course, is going to get burned if she attacks uh, burning characters. In melee combat.
have a cookie, Rick. But I think that that's all she wrote. Now, I think that we can do better than that. Uh, I might stream last and tomorrow. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, you can. Sometimes you can see those yellow shorts on the speedy walkers. Um. That was fun. I did want to get more action out of Shane. I did want more exploding walker heads, though. So. We've got lots of heroes to choose from. Going to have to decide who it's going to be for the next one. But I think we'll call it a day for there. Yeah, two more last stands to go. I'll see you then. But for now, that will do as our first effort. Thanks very much for watching. That's the end of the stream. See you again soon.